God's purpose for a man is to establish a kingdom. God wanted a man to have dominion, to have authority in this earth. And today I'll tell you the revelation behind our body, the temple of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the glory that a man lost in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. When Adam fell short of the glory that was in him, I'd like you to know that that glory is the Holy Spirit. That glory is the Holy Spirit. That is why today there is nothing you can do as human being without the Holy Spirit. One message that Jesus came to preach in this surface of the earth, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, he said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He said, change the way that you have been living and turn a new way. Amen. Turn from the doctrines. Turn from the tradition that Satan has put in the children of God. Turn from them and face this new reality. There is a promise that God made to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Ezekiel, Joshua. There is a promise that God made to them. And that promise of faith is the promise of the Father. That is, the Father wants to dwell in us, in this earth. Because we need the body to operate on this earth. That is why it becomes illegal for God to come without a body. You have what God does not have, which is the body. God have what you do not have. God needs your body. It's illegal for a man to be in the space, in the spirit, without through the spirit. The same thing is illegal for God to come in the earth without a body. That's why you cannot see the spirit. That's why you cannot see demons. This is why demons seek to use human bodies. This is why, because they are spirits. They don't have the right to be like you and I. They can't they can come. So they have to deceive men to have access, to have permission to function on earth. That is why the Bible says your body is not for food. Your body is of the Lord. Your body is the temple of God, where God dwells. That body, angels are looking for that body. Demons need that body. God needs that body to function on earth. If you don't guide that body, if you don't hold that body, whatever comes into it, take dominion and start using it. How demons use people's body? They deceive you not to receive the Holy Spirit, not to pay attention to the gospel, not to pay attention to the things of God, not to function. Their goals is primary to dissuade you for God not to live in you. Because if God is not in you, they will have access to your body. That is why the demons, they would encourage you to give your body to fitness, to give your body to alcohol, to give your body to anything, drugs, things that would, that would contaminate you from God not to live in you. Give your body to sexual immorality. These are the things that will prevent the Holy Spirit to live in a man. When the Holy Spirit is absent from a man, a man becomes empty. We are what we are. We are the product of what we permit. He said, whatever is bound on earth 
is bound in heaven. Whatever is loose on earth is loose in heaven. What does that mean? Our cooperation, yes. our permission is necessary for God to do anything. That is where prayer, intercession, giving God permission to interfere with the affairs of men. So when you pray, you are telling God, I'm giving you permission to change this situation, to change this thing, because I am not comfortable with it. If you are not comfortable with it, then you change it. Do you know that whatever you entertain, you don't want it to go away? Whatever you tolerate will stay. You cannot change whatever you encourage. If you encourage poverty, poverty will remain with you. If you encourage sickness, sickness will remain in your body. If you encourage habit, that habit will remain with you. But if you are dissatisfied with it, you change it. And how to change it? You are giving God permission to say, I'm done. I don't want to continue this way. If things are going wrong in your life today, that is because you neglect the author of life. That means you, you reject the one that's supposed to help you. Would you give him permission today? Would you want to invite Jesus to be the Lord of your life today? And if you want to change your situation, this is the season, this is the time, this is an opportunity to invite Jesus. Give him permission to change that situation. Say, Lord God, I believe with all my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the son of the living God, that you sent him to come and change my life and to align me with the things of heaven. A man will never do anything without God as God will never do anything without a man. So we all need that cooperation. Cooperate with God. God will cooperate with you. And thank you. God bless you.